Welcome back to another Team Solomon Circus du uh, duel. Today we'll be going over uh, ABC Therion versus Adagnister. So we do see that um, ABC goes first, which is on the left, and we're on the right. And we see him start off with a temple from hand, searching for the right of Aramisir and playing it, um, getting out the token, as well as placing the uh, Fateful onto the field. And then Fateful Effect's going to activate here, searching for the monster, and then discarding the uh, Regulus. He has Draco back here, so it's definitely interesting that, you know, he didn't discard the Draco back. Um, so he's going to activate the, or the Griffin, then he's going to play the um, Therion spell card to get out the um, Regulus. And Oh, okay. So he's doing it so he can set up the negate. Makes sense here. He's going to pass it over to us. We do start off with the sign up mining here. Um, going to discard the Nibiru. And then he's going to chain the Regulus to negate that. We're going to then chain the... Oh, we can't chain the Imperm here because we do a control a card on the field. Um, so that's going to resolve. And then here we're going to activate Imperm targeting the Draco... Uh, the Griffin. And getting that. Then we're going to normal summon the... Uh, chip get the effect and then we are going to be able to search for a um, spell card which is going to be the ai meet you i believe or the ai land that's what it's going to be um and then we're going to get the denmari search off for the ai ai, AI land as well we're going to play the ai land then we're going to play ai contact you know to draw three cards kind of crazy um he's reading that card like what um, so yeah, if I control the, uh, Agnister card, I can draw three, as long as I put one on the bottom of the deck. And here we're going to think we did draw a, um, another light, which we cannot use, but we do have the wind monster as well, I believe. So here we're thinking, are we going to lock him under Mystic Mine, or are we going to, uh, we're going to special summon with the AI land. We're going to go with the fire here, search for the monster, which we're going to get off the Doyon. We're going to then link two into the link two into the splash mage. Here we're going to activate the effect of AI land. So looking at our graveyard here, seeing what we have summoned, going out, summon out the the wind one, dumping the level six. And then here we're going to activate Splash Mage's effect here. We're going to target to the Denmari. He's going to call by that. So we definitely made a misplay there. We should have targeted another monster because we don't want, um, you know, Denmari banished. And then here we're going to get Transcode uh, by linking them two off. And then we're going to activate AI Land, especially on the Dark One. The Dark One effect is going to activate. It's going to add back one of the um, AI monsters. So here we're going to target the the wind, add it back to hand. And we did summon the uh, Doyon in the wrong monster zone here. So we kind of screwed up. We're going to have the link into access code. Access code effect is going to gain three. And uh, Doyon's effect is going to add back the contact. We're going to activate the um, Adagnister here, popping all the cards, making sure that we know what the Therion card does, and we're going to pop the um, Regulus for the last card. And then here we're going to um, we're going to think here. Think if we can OTK. Uh, I do not believe we can. So here we're just going to enter battle phase and attack for uh, 53. And then I believe after that we are going to set one and pass our turn or... No, we're just going to pass there. Okay, so he draws for turn. We do know he has Drago back in hand. Um, I guess we don't know, but we figure he does. Because he didn't uh, just search it off the um, Fateful. And so he's then going to activate the Fateful Effect, searching for, 
searching for the temple and then discarding the temple there. Getting him his right, uh, or banishing it to get right. I'm going to play right on the field here to activate the, uh, I guess not to activate, but the, to generate a token. And he's going to place the Draco back. Draco back effect going to pop or return to extra deck. The um, access code. Then he's going to normal summon the, I believe that is B. Um, which is kind of crazy that he drew his ABC piece, but it's not able to do much because you can't uh, rank uh, four and two token. If he has a rank, uh, a link two he's going to make, I believe. He's just going into battle phase here and he's going to attack me with the B. He asked me what cards he knows in my hand. I revealed a wind and has a contact. And then we're going to, he's going to pass his turn. We're going to draw for turn. And then we're going to normal summon the chip, getting up the um, the reborn here. We're going to link one into the Agnister monster, getting out the, you know, the AI land, as well as being able to activate the contact, making contact live. We're going to activate contact here, placing it at the bottom of the deck to draw three cards. Absolutely insane. And then here we're going to negate um, the infant to special summon that monster. The shield guy. Then we can just start link climbing. Going into our splash mage here. Special summon out the doyon with the island, targeting the, um, the fire. Then splash mage effect can activate, summoning out the chip. Here we're just reading Uptape Jammer. Thinking on how we can clear the board, and then we realize that, you know. We have Axe Code still in the extra deck, so here we're going to make, um, I believe that is the the dark effect of Island, the special summon them back. We did put them in the wrong zone, but that's okay. Um, and here we're going to sound out two more monsters in attack position. Then we're going to link two away into the update jammer. Then link those two into access code here. Axe code effect's gonna gain three, as well as double his original attack. So gonna be able to just pop those two and then attack for game. So that's game one there, which we got. Going into game two here, we're just gonna side in some cards. We do see him side, I believe, and that's twin twister there. And we're going to have to side in some, um, I believe we side in our uh, crossouts. Oh, we side in Dark Ruler No More's actually. Um, so we plan to go second because he's probably going to make us go first. And he's able to set up a bunch of negates. And our goal really here is to like draw enough cards so that we do have enough to play. Um, as well as like negates monster track. We don't really think we have a way to out like three negates if he makes Griffin, uh, Regulus, as well as ABC. So here he decides to go first again. We do see a right in his hand. Um, but he's gonna activate Foolish Burial here, which is all right. Gonna send out the temple, temple effect, um, searching. I said, I'll just ash that. And he said, okay. Then he has right anyways, so we get hard punished here, um, but it's okay because, you know, it happens. He's going to get out Fateful as well as the token, and then going to activate the token effect to discard. Um, and then he forgot to they have to discard off of great uh, Griffin here, which he does with the right, um, and then he gets the uh, token effect.
or the token gets the uh gets the draco back from his hand so we do see an ash blossom i believe um we normal summon the uh chip he then wants to read the ai meet you gonna link in dark infant dark infant effects gonna search but he's gonna ash that um you know so we're not able to play but we have it anyways and then he's going to uh Read Griffin, or, or read AI, and then he realizes, like, you know what, it's fine. Um, I'm going to activate the effect, getting out the light, and then I'm going to link those two away. Getting Splash Mage, showing him the red to get red. He's going to then negate the AI meet you. Um, Splash Mage effect is going to summon out the light. And here we're just thinking, like, you know, do we want to take the 23? Um, so here we go for Heat Soul, so we don't take the 23. We activate the effect to, you know, pay a 1,000 to draw one card. Uh, and then we just attack our battle phase and attack. He reads the card. It only has 23 attack. Uh, beats over the token. Sets one and then passes. You can activate Mystic Mine here. We're going to chain... Um, the effect to draw one card and then we're gonna he's gonna pass turn we do have the harpy's feather storm so we do be able to clear that um and then we're going to uh pass or attack and pass we don't have much in our graveyard here so we know we have to struggle but we do have a reborn in our hands so we think about like you know if we know something we can get the effect which is going to get us the Chip, chip effect's gonna activate, grabbing us AI meet you. We're gonna activate AI meet you, summoning, uh, searching out and showing the, uh, the dark, getting out the dark one. And then we're able to normal summon the Dillion, targeting the, um, light, the only one we have in Graveyard. Uh, I guess we don't activate the effect here, we say no thanks, um, then we activate that effect, getting out the light that we have, and then summoning the infant, and then infant effect. We have it in the wrong zone once again. Um, what are we doing here? And then we summon out two more monsters. We do summon out the light as well as the dark. Once again, in defense position, not our best play. We think about going into access code, um, but, you know, it's not game, and he has other cards in his hand. We do summon out the access code here, gaining the effect of three. Then we overlay into the XYZ. Uh, access code is 53. Then we can attack for 23. And then we think here, you know, we just pass. So here he draws for turn heat, which he does have Union Hanger, which is like full combo. We're making sure that we read the light target correctly. He searches out the B, then plays B, getting the Union Hanger. Union Hanger effect is going to activate here, getting out the C and equipping it. And he's able to special summon the C. Uh, linking two into Platinum Gadget, then you can activate their effects. Searching for the A, and then he's able to play this Colosseum to search him for the uh, Therion card. You can activate Regulus here, equipping the C, or that's the B, my bad. You can activate the effect of the Light Monster. Um... Uh, or no, he's going to read the effect of Light Monster, my bad. Then he's going to summon out A, um, then he's going to activate the B effect, special summon itself out. Here we're just checking our graveyard here. He's looking at what plays he can make. He decides to overlay the two pieces for a Dugaris. Then 
Then he activates the effect to, I believe, draw two. Yep. Has to fight here to draw two. Um, and then discard the Draco back. He's going to activate the effect to summon out the ABC dragon from banishing all three pieces. Which we do see as a call by in the grave as well. Um, so he's going to activate the effect of ABC here. Um, and then he activates Buster's effect here um, to target the access code. And here we let that go through. By discarding the call by the grave here, he's going to then enter battle phase. Buster's going to attack into our light. Um, Rylith's going to attack. Um, and then we're just going to scoop it up because we don't have anything there. So we're going to go into game three here. So we're both 1-1. One, one. So I believe here we're going to side in for going first. Yep. So we see our siding and rivalries. Um, you know, now that I think about it, maybe not the best play against ABC because they are all machines. Um, a lot of their extra deck monsters aren't, so I guess it does slow them down a little bit. And if we can lock them into the... Uh, into having the fairy off of the token, you know, that'd be a really good thing, but looking back at it, I probably would not do that. Um, it's not that great versus ABC, but we're going to see how it goes here. So here we're going to decide to go first. Uh, I believe that's two imperms where our normal summon, the dip, which is all right, getting the link, the light one. Linking into infant, getting out these field spells, activate field spells by summoning the light. Light effect, going to grab the, the AI meet you. Uh, no, it's not. It's going to add us the, um, the, the reborn. That's correct. Uh, here we're going to link two off into the wicked. Wicked effect's going to activate. No, that's incorrect. Here we're going to activate the effect of AI land. Summoning out the doyon. Wicked effect's going to activate. Um, banishing the, the dark infant from our graveyard. Um, Doyon's going to activate, adding back the light, and then we're going to get the wind. Link 2 into the, um, Slash Mage. And then we're going to activate the AI line, the wind monster. And then going to dump the, uh, Denmari. And we're going to activate the effect of Splash Mage, coming out the dark monster. And then we're going to... Here we're going to go into the um, the dark, and then we're going to activate Reborn here, summoning out the Doyon. And then I realize, oh, why did I do that? I keep summoning it in the wrong spot. Um, then we're going to activate the Doyon effect in Graveyard, getting back the Reborn. We're going to activate the effect of Dark Infant moving, and then going to special summon in two. And then we're going to be able to link those into the um, Arrival. Then here we're going to set two cards, or set three cards, and then pass. We show him that, you know, we do have a monster negate as well. He's going to draw for turn. Going to activate Prod of Prosperity here. You know, banishing six. He's going to choose to add. And then time gets called here. Uh, so then we're going to be able to just, like, you know. It's going to have to be a tie, unfortunately. He did have a lot of cards he could add, but, you know, what else could he do? He... We had two Imperms and the Upstart, which we're not going to activate because we're close. But it was a match I quite enjoyed. So thank you, Ben, and I hope you guys see you in the next one.